This is quite a complex question. Um, so let me in some sense reframe it. Uh, there has been a, a very heated debate during the crisis about the role of economists and in particular the role of uh, macroeconomists. Uh, and um, somehow macroeconomists have been accused of being incapable of uh, forecasting the crisis and preventing the crisis as though, you know, um, economists were the ones who were running, uh, running the economy. Uh, my opinion is that in fact, well, the crisis is complex uh, because there is a financial crisis, there is a macroeconomic uh, crisis and uh, now there is a sovereign debt crisis. However, uh, the crisis is not as unique as it looks because there has been quite a few uh, preceding episodes uh, in small countries, so these were not global crises, but there has been uh, a number of uh, episodes of uh, you know, housing market bubbles in various countries that have burst and that have triggered uh, uh, a recession. So, there are a number of aspects, uh, of, aspects of the crisis that, uh, that we do understand. We do, not, we do not understand everything, but we understand a number of, as of aspects. Uh, in particular, uh, or in addition, there has been historically a lot of work on the interaction between uh, financial markets and uh, macroeconomic uh, fluctuations, the, all the work on the so-called financial accelerator, which uh, has not waited for the crisis to take place to, uh, to be a burgeoning literature and which has been literally exploding, um, exploding uh, during, uh, during the crisis. So, um, in some sense, economists understand a number of aspects of the crisis and, of course, it's never possible to forecast a, a crisis because, by definition, uh, you know, if people were forecasting a crisis in two years, then we would have a stock market crash immediately and a crisis immediately. So, by definition, crises occur, uh, crises must be unpredictable in some sense. And perhaps today we understand the economy perfectly, there will not be uh, any crisis left because we could uh, instead be able to predict them and they would not, they, they would not happen precisely because we would be able, uh, we would be able to, to predict them. Um, now, how can economists assist uh, policy makers in fighting the crisis? Well, here I guess we run into a difficulty, which is that economists and macroeconomists are divided, and uh, I guess um, uh, I'm not sure they actually agree on uh, what is to be done, and I actually think they agree less than they used to the crisis as uh, in some sense magnified the uh, divergence in the views uh, uh, among, among economists. Uh, so you have people who think that uh, uh, it's a free lunch to engage in stimulus, to you know, print money, to replace bad private claims by government bonds. And if people don't want the government bonds, let's give them money instead. So let's have, you know, uh, let's have budget deficit, let's have quantitative easing and then, uh, uh, so this is what they would advocate if you want but then uh, other economists building on previous work uh, recognize that you know, there is a lot of policy uncertainty uh, um, about the future in particular because of uh, the uh, uh, explosion in public debt in many countries People should expect uh, higher taxes to prevail uh, in the medium run and, uh, uh, and there has been work that showed that uh, in such circumstances it may be counterproductive to exert stimulus because uh, uh, consumers will react to this stimulus with a lot of caution, they will reduce consumption, uh, firms will reduce their physical investment uh, because uh, the policy intervention increases uncertainty about the future and increases expectations of taxation. So, uh, in such a, a case, you actually want to refrain from doing too much stimulus and you want to remain cautious. And uh, perhaps it's a telling example that you know, uh, uh, 
Germany has been relatively conservative in its approach to, approach to the crisis and in fact it has uh, so far uh, survived the crisis better than, uh, than, a number, than a number of other countries.